So, welcome to this tutorial on Nuclear. Um, this is the third tutorial in the series, and today we'll be focusing on the um, window flags. And first, without further ado, let's jump into the GUI section of our code. Um, here, this is on GitHub, of course, and then um, so I'll be in GitHub, and then. Um, Pardon, and then we have here this. Um, when you think of nuclear, the the most basic element in the GUI is the window. The window is what happens between the call NK begin and NK end. Everything in between these calls, NK begin and begin end and NK end, will be um, will be uh, the widgets. All the widgets have to be declared and exist between these two calls ok, not outside these calls they always have to be inside these calls therefore the window in nuclear that starts to the declaration, declaration nk begin and ends with the declaration nk end is the most important element so if you compile our application you'll see we got so far last lecture we'll see that uh, Yes, so we'll see that uh, we have here. Um, the, you'd think that this is the window, right? This is the window, the application window. It's just a window. Nope, nope, it's not. In nuclear, it's not. So a window, it, it's something else. So the window is if you increase the size of your application, increase the size of our root window, we can see that this gray area here with our widgets is this is the window, and everything else is just background. So in other words, if you maximize your application, the root is the size, but our window is the same, and the rest is background. Okay, so we can add another, another window to to set the concept of, of windows in the nuclear. And uh, how do we add a window? Just copy paste. So that's quite straightforward. Copy paste it, and then we just. Oh, we can call it copy paste is fun, why not copy paste copy paste is fun, I should really be typing faster but I don't ok so this is the title of the window and then we have here the second, the third call of NKB again the first argument is the context the second argument is a string containing the title of the window. The third argument is a NK rectangle uh, which which has four values so this the first two is the X and Y position of, of, the, of the window and then is the window width and window height okay so we can call this uh, we can compile this code and see that uh, if we have two windows or not let's have a look Okay, we don't. It's exactly the same as before. Why? Because we changed. We forgot to change the size of our root window, and the size of our root window is defined here. Wind width. This variable wind width is the root size of our root window. Let's put a um, a thousand width and then five hundred height or or seven hundred height or something like that, so we can can have a lot of room to add a lot of windows. Okay. So that's the population. Okay, so um, we go here. So our window actually now is the size of the root window, even though the size of the widgets have not scaled necessarily. But uh, that is because we have um, we have to change. In our arguments for NK rectangle, for the NK begin, we have to change the width and the height of this of the window. So let's put 200 for the width, 200 pixels for the width, and then um, 300 pixels for the height. Why not? And then the same here, the same for our copy paste is fun window. So 200, 300. And then let's add uh, some space between the window and the and the root window, so 20 pixels down, 20 pixels left, 
and here 200 pixels or 300 pixels left and 20 pixels down okay so let's see now if things are making sense we compile everything again and we'll see okay so, okay, so here we go to windows so now let's decorate our windows with what? with window labels so we go here and then you ask where are the window flags right where where are they so they are in nuclear file you can see here there are several flags and okay, panel flags this is confusing enough because it's talking about windows and then the variable is called nk panel flags it should be called nk window flags but that's just me so nk window border as you guessed we add the NK window flags plus argument so the zero and then we add NK window border here plus argument of NK begin it contains the flags so let's have a look what it call, what it does to have NK border window border and that is uh, we can see it has a border yes good so it has a border now the left window has a border so let's have more flags to see what they do you can see the movable scalable closable minimizable yeah that's a good one so all these flags are good this have a look like quite fun to see what effect so how do you add more flags you pipe them using the or operator okay you have to pipe them together using the or operator so it's quite a bit of a bit of work no it's not work at all it's quite quite easy to do um just pipe them all in series with um pipe them all in series with the R operator and then you'll see the result. Um the resulting window which has all these flags enabled. You can see now. Here we go. Our window is now it can be minimized, maximized, moved, it can be closed, whereas the other window, the second window cannot do anything like this because it's not happening. So that's why I could. Okay, so this was the um, let's let's just for the sake of let's just add the title to the window as well because it's fun. NK window title, the flag NK. I know it by heart already, so NK window. Ah, oh, we can actually. Oh, it pops up here. Oh, cool. Window title. Is that it? No, it's not there. Okay, whatever. It's not. Ah, it's here. Okay. NK window title. Let's add the flag NK window title to this one and to this one as well. To the second window as well. So we can have a flag on the second window. So we have two forms. The first form, everything is. Yeah, it's minimizable, movable, scalable, whatever. And the second one is not. The second window is not. So we go here. So if I say form, I should say window. Sorry about this terminology. Scalable, minimizable, movable, whatever. As this one is not. It's just a fixed window. It cannot be moved. Okay, so that's it, guys. That makes up our third tutorial. So. So see you later.